رسول پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم حسین صیام یوم عاشورا احتسبوا على الله ان يكفر السنه التي قبله a person who fasts on the day of ashura i have hope that it will be a kafara for the sins of the previous year it will expiate and be a cause of forgiveness for the sins of the previous year rasul pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam once said in la in ishtu al aam al muqbil la asuman al tasi' If I am alive next year, I will keep fast on the 9th as well. So, if we can fast on the 9th and 10th, both days, better. The 10th of Muharram, in which Sayyiduna Hussain ibn Ali, Karramullah wajahu, was martyred in the plain of Karbala. And you will see the Rawafid, Shia, going mad, insane, doing matam, lamenting, We are not allowed to do that. It's haram to lament and injure the bodies. We don't do that. We do what our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did. He fasted on that day, because on that same day of Ashura, Musa alayhi salam and Bani Israel were saved from Fir'aun, and Fir'aun was drowned on that day in the Red Sea. So we have to remember that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam fasted because of that. Shukran lillahi azza wa jal. We should do that as well. May Allah give me the tawfiq as well and give you the tawfiq as well. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, As-Siyam, As-Sawmu fi shita al-Ghanimatu al-Baridah. Fasting in winter is al-Ghanimatu al-Baridah. Cold booty, meaning easy and very rewarding. So we should do that because of that as well. Jazakumullah, Salaam Alaikum.